Okay. Let's get here that one. Let's get here this right. Okay. So before I get into this video, I just want to that's recording. Come on. Capture specific window, Roblox. Oh man. It's not even doing it. It's not even doing it. That's just a bunch of bullshit. Okay. I can't even use my game capture, so I guess I'll stick to the The original for now, right? I hope this has come through. I'm definitely planning on using game capture some more, but it's a shame that it doesn't work, right? But Pro Ponju. I know I could do that. This guy was a top player. Okay, but anyways, uh, the purpose of this video is to like show records of the previous matches I did. So I'll I'll get right into that right now. Actually, okay, now it works. Okay, that's a bunch of bull. But yeah, we'll get into these matches right now. So, two O two and solo. O two and solo, but one zero in teams, right? Um, one of the solos were, I mean, the one v ones and teams is two v twos, obviously. But the so one of the solos was best of three, and the other was best of seven, or yeah, first to seven. The second one's first to three. And yeah, so. This is the one from the best of two, obviously 4-2 because it did go to a tie break. And with tie breaks in this game, you have to clutch it out two times in a row, you know. So you have to be like, so you have to be the player that's like more rewarding, I guess. It rewards a player that's, uh, you have to prove yourself, I guess. Like, you know, you have to like redo your wins over. So it has to be legit. So that's me right here, Antibox 2012, or Antibox 12. Box Scott versus 12. And this opponent I do play. They did beat me here, but this opponent I do end up playing in the teams. And I did beat their team, which is good for on our part, I think. Yeah, I did beat their team like 6 1 or something. So, yeah, this is me running through. I need to figure out how to get good at this game, of course. Just like Smash, just like everything else. But then I need to observe that I'm not confident in the lunges and shit. But it did feel good to like de rust, quote unquote, just so you know. So that's 1 0 or 0 1. 0 2. Not an excuse, but I am rusty as shit at this game. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie to you, I'm like so terrible. But I did manage to like. I thought I was gonna. Honestly, I thought I was on a roll right here, but. I thought I was gonna. I was on my way, but one two. I was like, okay, I'm on the board. Two two. Okay, that's cool. And I just stopped right there. But yeah, that's me making the rushes. Just playing patient right here. Don't even feel like making any like dumb decisions, you know. I think this is a. I think this is actually the round right here that made me feel like oh. This and the round and the third match I had, I was like oh I need to be confident in my lunges and shit. Kind of frustrated right here. It's like oh shit, it's not working. So I need to like get better, obviously. Oh damn. Nice rush jump right there. And I thought I had that right there too. <laughs> so that's one game we're down. Two more to go. This one was the second one. The 7-2 victory. 
This one was also one I was frustrated with, but at least I clutched it out in the end. It was like a 7-2 victory. Um, level 2 is in level 4. It's kind of expected, I guess, don't you think? But I feel like, I feel like these opponents, these level 2s, at least lock ores, I think he keeps playing. Like, literally, all you have to do is keep playing and keep pointing, and you'll, you'll make it for sure. Tier 4 and up. Tiers don't even matter in this game, I'm not going to lie to you. The only thing that matters is like the level 7s, I feel like. And I don't like to get to level 5. That's why I, that's why I say when I get to level, when I reach level 5, it's going to be like rewarding to me because I have a 64% uh, percentages overall, right? Like over the matches I play a lot of time in, in this game right here, I have won 64%. And I had, now I would have to get to 70%. So you see, the problem is I have to grind a lot. So this is where I came to like the dilemma, right? Do I reset the game or for an easier chance, for a quote unquote easier chance, you know, to avoid this grind, or do I have to, you know, do grind it out, not only de-rust at the game, but I have to improve and be the best I've ever been, right, and learn more and shit, yada yada yada, and overall rack up my percentages. 70% win rate, right? To reach level 5 and never reward myself right there, right? So that was like the, the ultimate for me. And I chose the ladder. So that's where I'm at right now. So struggling rusty level 4. That doesn't play like it. If you think tiers, like, you know, if you want to go by the tier metrics. Which, if you do, but... Um... if you do but I don't think so it works that way unless you're like level 7 you know the level 7s play like amazing they're like real technical and they, at least the level 7s I played they have the tech down they have the fundamentals down they have the timing down so it's like really amazing for them at the very least um, is there anything else I want to say before we continue yeah I don't know what to say So me, I think it was uh, F-Dog or some shit like that, right? Yeah, I think that was F-Dog right there. That was really funny. Um, oh, yeah, I did say I was frustrated, but I did, like, I did burn that up, of course. I'm not, I think my lunges are ass. My strikes are, I don't know what's going on. I, 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 I like to blame it on both me being ass and both the connection I think it's both really but that was fun right there for you run up and they he, he carried me and I carried him at on one or I think I don't think I cared but okay let's been getting up the kills so that was cool and on the rush down okay That was a tiebreaker right there. Restart. Going in. Move back. I need to get good at tracking movement, first of all. You know, that's why I move back and then you push forward. That was my launch right there, post launch. Yeah, I need to do a better job picking my spots in the game. Continue. I really rock with this game. And once you understand your sword, like the spacing, and imagine it's the quote unquote imagination behind you playing with your, playing with the sword, right? You understand the mechanics of it, the range, the timing. That range too, it, it's it's a bitch to deal with someone who know who knows the range, who understands the ranges. You see, there's like there's like these types of players, like you know, every a lot of players, just like just like player prototypes, quote unquote, right? Like some people, like you know, they do the mashing thing, they do the you know, they do play defensively. Like me, I like I think I'm like the defensive person, like the defensive positioning type of person. 
you know, there's some people who have the offense for it. Like they, they could I, identify where they're playing off offensively and they know how to play that good. There are some people who know how to play, who have like really good lunge mix-ups. They'll lunge at you and then they'll just like mix it up. And you just have the timings for it. And there's others that, you know, like they have the IQ for that shit and it's like crazy. They know the ranges and they'll just play like that. They'll play accordingly off of that. And they'll be bold as shit. That's what it seems like, you know. And that's like one thing I'm realizing. That's the crazy thing too. I really like this game. Because you like pick your spots and it promotes that. I think it benefits me in Smash too in like many ways. Com and combat wise. Maybe different com combat, but it's like decision making is, you know, it helps a lot. And that's why I play this game too. And reasons outside of Smash too. Yeah, that helps too. It took me out right there with the quick rush down. This guy just carries me. No, no, it wasn't. He made a carry to, like somewhere else. But. He said, let me carry. <laughs> Which is funny. Yeah, not to step back. I'm definitely going to take advantage of stepping back more. And I think this is more like all lag, lag. Which is really funny. Because I was not playing out the lag at all. Yeah, I need, I need to get really good combat. That's where I'm at. Um, oh, this is the one where I really want to run up a clutch it out. And this is where I got frustrated. Not frustrated, but it was like, oh, damn. Yeah, frustrated. Like, to be honest. Just like, damn, what the fuck? I think I ended up, like, um, clutching it out, though. So it was, like, all, quote, unquote, all good. Even though I'm not happy. They let me regenerate playing defensively, so I take advantage of that. But also keep my position. You see, that was, you see, you saw how that, that's where I got frustrated right there. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> this anti suck. I don't know what this is anti. I don't know exactly what that is. But there I am again. <laughs> boom boom right there and seven two ggs and that's it for that round right so it's like really really cool right there i was about to say if it wasn't recording there then damn i proponed you Yeah, this guy was really good. This is a level 4. It's like the non-rusty level 4. The active level 4, you know? The active level 4, etc. The game starts. I think they're off to a good start. And they got me with the first strike right there. Now this is where I was like, okay, I really need to get better with lunges and shit. Because their this opponent was way better with that, and they were way better at um, aiming it with the accuracy, I guess.
Uh, that was ugly, you know. Then you're off to a fast four row, because he understood. I need an opponent like this to train with, too. I can learn a lot. I think playing with, like, challenging opponents could, like, really help you out. Just by getting knowledge and experience how you, like, it just really helps. So I'm glad, I'm really glad I adopted that mindset. I can't wait until I play Smash, so, like, one of these days, because I actually have two good, good opponents I have fun with. Um. I was trying to make a comeback right here, salvage anything. That's terrible, but you can tell I was like guarded too late. It's like the, it's like a really fast paced uh oh damn, see how my sword turned on my back turn. That's not how you do that when I play the game too. It's like really like no. DDoS the server. I don't do it. Yeah, this is a really fast pace. I can tell this opponent is like really knowledgeable. I still lost 7-4, doesn't matter. I took two off of him. I got a couple ties in there, but it, it did not matter. It's this still lost this, by the way, but it was really fun. It's really cool seeing this opponent, like, um, being really technical and shit. I got him right there. Yeah, I really need this experience in, of losing. Because I can't have this aversion to it. Let's like, I don't think that's a good idea to have it. Because like, losing is like, you win, we lose. Like, by that plain virtue right there. Right. You shouldn't let it like, let it like, give you a version. And seven four. Lost the game right there. I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, lost the game right there, of course. But overall, I do have a lot, have lots to work on in this game. If I, wanna, if I would like to get good, you know. I was about to say. Okay, I was about to say. Oops, that's funny, but yeah, okay. So that's about it. I'll look, I'll overlook these matches for analysis purposes, but I'm really glad. So we have a loser over here accusing of others of exploiting, you know. That's how the game one goes, though. Mario says it does. And, uh, should I play a couple? I wonder if I should play a couple before I leave. That's a 2.23. It's gonna be like the sixth stage.
Okay, let's do this. Okay. Sounds like I need like new ideas when I'm playing this shit. Okay. All good. It's all good. Okay. This guy's perfectly fine, but I really don't care. But I'm pretty sure like he'll be better, but. the even 50 50 I want to try new things but I don't you know I want to get out of my comfort zone So I, ha I hate being lazy on those strikes too. Okay. Nice slice. Oh, that was terrible on my part. What the fuck? Dude. Okay, yeah, it was like, how many times the sword has this one? I need to get better at that, I guess. I think that's just me. <laughs> thanks. Uh, these are nice. I said thanks. Okay. It's a fair fight. Yeah. Okay, got him. I have to be like movement based, I guess. Like, I have to like literally move on my character. Oh, damn. Okay, I guess I need to aim it more, aim it better. That should be on the checklist. Okay, got him. Got him, got him. GG's. Yeah, GG's. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. GG's. I think I need to get better myself too, but... Good guy. Like, that's a good guy right there, but good opponent, you know? I think they're level three. All they have to do is keep training, and they they got it right. This is a really good opponent right there, honestly. I just want to get to a point where um, my goals in this game. I just want to get to a point where you know, where I get hella better. You know, and get out of here. But yeah, I really do appreciate the appreciate playing in the game. So, yeah, dude, I just want to vent in my life on here, I guess. So much shit going on, you know, my mind-wise. 
in goals wise, but I love this black screen. I love, but yeah, dude, boy, I do have some goals to get down. I want to put in the work and I'm putting in analysis and shit because that's really fun to me. That's where I have fun at and practicing, et cetera, et cetera. So 25 minutes, I'll record for an extra five minutes, talk about the game, event, et cetera. Then I'll hop off, but um, yeah, I had so much fun playing this game. And I can't wait to get back into this game, too. It just um, yeah, have fun. Once it gets to level five, but oh, wait, let me show you. Let me show the stats on here. Let me actually show the stats on here before I leave. Let's see. It's so weird. Same server. 64 percentage of wins. Okay. See right here. 64 percent wins. Which is actually a lot of matches. That I have to get. Get to go through. Um, uh, to tier 5. I need to get 6% of wins so I need to start winning a lot more like a way lot more I need to see my wins and losses 4 11 2 2 3 how many matches have I play lap time Four eleven two two three. God damn it, dude. Wait, hold on. Where's my phone? Thirty-four. Sixty-four times six percent. Divided by six thirty four, right? Seventy. That means I have to win forty matches, forty matches around there. Without losing, of course, because it's going to lower the percentage, right? So I need to find that perfect ratio. So let's say I had to play like about, play it through 100 matches and win. I would have to play about like, how many matches would it take to get to 70%? Like less than 100, less than 100 matches, that's how I look at it. So I'll be like a full day of grinding, you know? I'm eating, sorry. Can I do that? I think I, I do have the percentage to do that. I can pull it off, of course. I just have to play 40 matches, win 40 matches. It's probably got to be more than that to get to that right percentage, right? That dropping, so I'd say about And give myself like 80 matches. Hopefully in 80 matches I'll increase it. 
but that's all that's obviously hard to say i can't calculate shit right now because i'm just ass at it you know but yeah at least i can when i get to tier five it'll be so rewarding it'll probably feel rewarding i'll say that as an opportunity to get back in the groove of the game and learn some shit i learn how to strike how to launch and shit how to lunge and like how to like focus on timings that would actually be cool um And try out new ideas. Yeah, try out new ideas. Um, let me get at it because, yeah, how to, am I, the ideas to me is like learning how to play positions and shit. Like, I want to learn how to play aggressive. As you can see in that last match I played against him, I try to like play bold and aggressive and like learn, learn a bunch of shit. And by doing it, I have to like I have to learn how to play the position. So I think. So I think I could do that. If I could do that, I could just change my place all around fundamentally. So I, I don't I wouldn't have to rely on being. The center, you know, it makes it easy. And if I could do that, it can make it easier. That's like another thing in my arsenal. To find chaos and shit. It would be so cool, like, just learning how to, like, avoid, be evasive, be on the attack, maintain position, play magnet, be like this magnet, I guess, like, this balance, having this balance of it. That's how I think about this magnet. Magnet is just like a, quote-unquote, magnet is just a concept in my head, how I play it. Oh, man, this is going to be so fun. Yeah, ben it'll benefit me in Smash, too, I, can, I already know that. Okay. So yeah, that'll be it for now. Um, I really do appreciate where it's by to see this like Roblox or fire analysis. Um and just overall venting. Um Yeah, so Okay, I guess that's about it. Follow my stream. I stream. Um, and that's another thing. On Twitch. Slash Antoine Antonio underscore. If you don't, if you don't know, you can just find the links on, on my channel. But yeah. Yep. Okay, so yeah, take care. All right, bye-bye.